actually quite a bit. I wonder if Hanako said anything about me to Lily during their conversations. I'm about to ask what's on her mind as she picks herself up from the railing. Shall we be off then? Her voice and expression show that she's playing a game with me. Lily knows damn well that she's leaving me hanging. With a sigh, I pick myself up off the railing as well as have a brief look around. We have stuff to do, so I'll just try and get back to her about this later. Tucked in between a, a newsstand and a convenience store is a small shop. The sign above the door reads, Othello's Antiques, in decorative English script. It would be easy to miss if we were walking along the street, but since we're stationary and I'm purposefully looking around, it's just noticeable. Say, Lily, that doll you got Hanukkah, was it new? Well, yes, but I'm not sure what you mean. I think I found our shop. It's across the road. Oh, what is it? Some kind of toy shop? It's an antique shop. I'm, I'm, I think it's probably going to be our best bet. Oh, that's the first open mouth smile I've seen. Really? I didn't even know we had one of those near here. Neither did I. I missed it the first time we went by here. It's pretty well hidden. Well, then it can't hurt to check. Inspired by this new find, we quickly dust ourselves off and head towards the store, Lily's hand fidgeting, it wi fidgeting its way to my elbow for guidance. The store has a strange musky scent to it. The layout is more like a garage than a store. Things are strewn, strewn, strewn around the floor without any immediate semblance of order. Wow. That is a creepy looking old man. Jeez, his eyes are like staring into my soul. The shopkeeper gives us an almost bored look that was particularly small, through his particularly small eyes. His face looks weary and tired, his, and his dress style is distinctly anachronistic. He gives us a polite nod of welcome before going back to his book. Lily holds tightly onto my arm, and I found myself having to split efforts between making sure we don't miss a potential gift for Hanako and making sure Lily doesn't inadvertently bump into anything. The task is quite difficult given the haphazard way the store is laid out, and the many things poking out of the shelves there on, or sitting on pieces of furniture, but eventually we safely arrive at an old desk covered in dolls and teddy bears. I think this is the right place. There's pretty much every kind of doll you could imagine here. That should make the choice much simpler. Could you pick? Could you please pick one for me, Hasao? I had a feeling that it would come to this. I picture Hanako in my mind and try to imagine what, which of the dolls would, before me, would suit her the best. My eyes wander across the collection. Each one is an ex as exquisite as the one before it. The sheer number of styles is boggling. But eventually one catches my eye. Here, what about this one? I pick up a small porcelain doll that looks to be at least somewhat affordable. Dressed in a, in a Victorian era green dress with a little brown hat sitting atop its blonde hair. It looks a little like Lily. I gently pass it to her who, deli who delicately feels her way around the object while wearing a look of slight concentration. It certainly feels beautiful. Do you think it would suit Hanako in your opinion? I think it would. It could look good in her room. In that case, I trust your judgment. Will you be getting her something as well, or shall this be a shared gift? Hmm, I'm not sure. I think I should get her something myself, but I don't think getting her another doll is such a great idea. Maybe... I let my voice trail off as I look around the shop. Resting on a writing table not far from us is a decorative box that catches my eye. Oh, I bet it's a chess set. Wait here, I think I found something. My, my, that was fast. A gingerly... Gingerly? What is with the gingers? Walk through a collection of crystal glassware and pick up the box. The wooden sides are covered in carvings depicting ancient battles around the castle. The top, however, looks far too familiar. Alternating squares of white and black varnished wood are arranged on the lid. That's a really nice item. It's a chess set from the overseas. 
The store's owner's sudden appearance startles me a little. I didn't see him approaching at all. Told you. It's creepy. I suppose he's trying to help us because we don't really look like... We don't really look like we know what we're looking for. Or on the other hand, maybe he wants to keep an eye on us because he's... He suspects we might shoplift instead. I'm looking for a present for a friend. I see, in that case, this chess set would make a fine choice. Realization floods into my mind. It's a pretty good looking set, but this is an antique shop. They're not well known for their bargain prices. How old is this? This is a reproduction. My best estimate says that it's about five years old. I see, so it's cheap then. He thinks a little before telling me, which is slightly dis disconcerting. I'll let I'll let you take this now for 700 yen. For 7,000 yen. They're like 70 bucks? Jeez. I balk a little. I wasn't expecting to spend that much. But this does seem perfect. Then again, maybe that's a testament to how well he worked out. How much he could make me pay. Couldn't make it 5,000? 5,500, no lower. I'm sold. Oh, we'd also like to get that doll. So now it's only 55 bucks. A lot better. Good haggling. The store owner looks over my shoulder, focusing on Lily and the doll in her hands. His eyes narrow, and he visibly takes a moment to switch mental gears. In the process, his smile drops slightly. Ah. I guess that means not everything in this store is a reproduction. Are you quite sure you want that doll, miss? I trust my friend's judgment. Oh, watch it be like a million dollar doll or something. I see. Oh. Oh, no offense. You're just like me. And I hate myself for that. None taken. If you could please wrap it for me, that it would be appreciated. Yes, of course. But it's 20,000 yen. It's like 200 bucks. Jeez. What? Did I have to pay for lunch? And you had all that money? Lily reaches into her purse and presents four crisp looking f five... Five thousand yen notes. Jeez Louise. Here you are, twenty thousand yen. The store keep dutif dutifully takes them and the doll and proceeds to the counter. I take Lily's arm to guide her there. Are you sure about this? That's a ton of money, and it's a doll. It's okay, I have the funds I need. As I said, I trust your judgment. Yeah, you should feel guilty. I feel a little guilty on two fronts. Firstly, because Lily has just spent a lot of money on my recommendation. And secondly, because I have a feeling the value of my gift isn't high enough. Nevertheless, Lily does seem to get somewhat awkward whenever, I, whenever the mention of money comes about. I hand the shopkeeper my present and the money for it in return. He puts the cash into the register before busying himself with wrapping the doll and repeating the process on the chessboard. Eventually, he finishes the gift wrapping and hands us both our presents. Please, please be careful on your way back and do come again. Thanks. Indeed, thank you very much. The store owner bows deeply to us before as we leave. Well, it did take us all day, but we found something in the end. That we did. Now that the presents are wrapped, I'm feeling a little impatient to give them to Hanukkah. It's a common reaction to buying gifts, wanting to see the reaction of the receiver as they discover what it is. I always do that. I don't want to, but I always, like, give hints. Just, like, subconsciously. Not really. I say them when it's like, hey... Do you still want whatever it was that I just got them, but they don't know it? It's like, yep. Oh, okay then. I'm rambling. And part of me wants to return to Hanako just to confirm her condition with my own eyes. What? So, should we head back? Let's. We've done a lot of walking today, so I shan't mind taking a rest back at the dormitories. Lily's right. Now that the need to find a shop is over, my legs are feeling quite tired. Well then, back to the school for us. I'm looking forward to resting for a bit, too. Lily holds out her arm 
and I link mine with hers. Together we make our way back to the bus stop. AK AK? No, okay. Kata wa shoujo. I am going to save it here and continue later on. Eight hours. My goodness, that is a long time. Oh no, I just saved. Don't do it again. Falling is the next one, and the current music track is Stride. See you next time.